When the scientists of marine land of the Pacific captured a live whale, history was made. It was my privilege to test whether the whale was friendly toward humans. Luckily for me, she was. In a few weeks, she became as tame as a trained seal, and just as smart. I was observing her attitude toward a giant turtle in the marine land tank, when suddenly I heard a knock on the window. A page boy was waiting for me with an urgent message, a message that turned out to be more dangerous than any sharks or whales that I've ever encountered in the sea. The urgent call was from Tom Quinn, an old diving buddy of mine, and a lieutenant in homicide. He needed my help, so I got down to his office as fast as I could. Hi, Tom. Mike. Good of you to come right down. Well, you said it was urgent, didn't you? Yeah, it is. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Keep those bugs away from me. Oh, isn't this a summer cold, you know? Uh, look, sit down. I got a problem that I think you can help me with. Yeah? Well, what is it? Did you, did you hear about the Tyler accident? Tyler accident. Yeah, Maria Tyler. Uh, she's skin diving with her husband, drowned, the day before yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember reading about that. She swam down too deep. Oh, that was a tragic accident. Was it an accident? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not convinced that it was. And that's where you come in. I'd like to get Tyler in here and have him tell you in detail his story of the fatal day, and then you tell me what you think. Now, oh, wait a minute. I'm not a detective. Besides, you, you've done a lot of diving. You... Oh, Mike, I'm not in your league. Look, I need expert advice. A man's life is at stake. Bring Tyler in here. Okay, Mike. Well, what can I say? He's on his way in here. Money. Thanks, Alan. Tyler, this is uh, Mike Nelson. Hi. I've heard of you. Tyler? Um, sit down. I, uh, I would like you to tell Mike exactly what happened that day. Well, there's not much to tell. My wife Marie and I have been doing a lot of diving during the last few months. We were working on a book, or what we hoped would be a book of underwater photographs, combining two hobbies, photography and skin diving. Having a lot of fun with both of them. We were going to take some color pictures of the sunken wreck in Dead Man's Cove. I dropped anchor while Maria screwed the camera into the underwater housing. We studied the chart before we dove. It was a beautiful day, but Maria was in a mischievous mood. Playful, like a kitten. She swam down ahead of me. I have sinus trouble, and it takes me longer to adapt to the pressure changes than it does other divers. But Maria had no fear of the water, and often dove deeper than she should have. That day, before we dove, she promised to stay close to me and be careful. The wreck was down 32 feet on a ledge. Below it was a 500-foot drop to the ocean floor. poked around the old ship while I set the shutter. She signaled me to take her picture and began posing for silly snapshots. We had quite a collection of them at home. Then, breaking her promise, she swam away from me, going deeper. I stuck with her, and she posed for another picture.
just swam over to the ledge to pose for more pictures. My ears were beginning to hurt, but I stuck close to her. I checked my underwater housing to make sure that it was still watertight. Suddenly, while I was advancing the film, Maria dove down over the ledge. In spite of my warning, she swam deeper and deeper. My ears were about to burst. I was down 70 feet, and the pressure was killing me. I couldn't follow her. I had to get to shallower water. I looked down after her, praying that she would appear at any moment. But she didn't. I waited for nearly an hour. My air supply was exhausted. I switched over to the emergency reserve supply. took one last look, and then I had to surface. I, I knew I'd never see her again. She was gone. There was nothing I could have done to save her. I begged her not to go that deep. She knew I couldn't follow her. I begged her. Called the Coast Guard. They made a search. Couldn't find her. Uh, this picture here, the last one of the sequence. What depth was that taken, huh? Oh, about 70 feet. That was just. Do you have a flash attachment on your camera? Would you like to ask him some more questions? No. Would you wait outside, please? Sure. You're a big help. Why didn't you ask him some more questions? I don't have to. Take a look at this picture. Well, I already have. I don't see anything. Look at the helmet. Yeah. What color is it? It's yellow. Light yellow. That's right. Yellow. Yeah. I don't get it. This picture couldn't have been taken at a depth of 70 feet like Tyler claimed. Yellow doesn't appear as yellow at that depth. Why not? As you descend, certain colors are filtered out of the visible spectrum by the water. They're absorbed. They become shades of blue and green. At great depths, they become grays and blacks. Oh, is it possible his depth gauge was off? No, not that much. This picture couldn't have been taken below 35 or 40 feet. You mean at the top of the ledge? That's right. Tyler's lie. Halloran? Yes? Book Tyler on suspicion of murder. Maria Tyler had drowned while skin diving with her husband. Lieutenant Quinn of Homicide suspected that she'd been murdered. Now we had to prove it. Mike, what are the chances of recovering that body? You serious? No diver's been down 500 feet. Well, I wasn't thinking of a diver. Um, drag, perhaps. Oh, no. no that wouldn't work. Look. See this? Rocky bottom. All along this area. Well, then we haven't got a case. 
Without a body, we don't stand a chance in front of the jury. I thought he sure picked the perfect spot. It's completely inaccessible. He knew we wouldn't be able to recover that body. At least not for a couple of years, anyway. By then, there wouldn't be anything left of it. What do you mean, a couple of years? Hmm? What do you mean, a couple of years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, in a couple of years, we might be able to dive 500 feet down. What you mean, in a free dive? Yeah, it could be. Why, that doesn't seem possible. They're working on it. At the Naval Electronics Lab. I just got back from there. How does the human body survive that pressure? Well, they're developing a, a breathing mixture. And they're making a pill that's going to absorb the gases in the blood. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it sure does. A couple of years, we might be diving 500 feet. Maybe a thousand. That's it. That's the answer. What's the answer? Can you act? Huh? Tom had a plan to trick Tyler into making a confession. It all depended on my being able to convince Tyler that I could do the impossible. You all set, Mike? Yeah. I've been waiting for you. You got everything? Everything. Well, let's go. We pulled out of the harbor and headed for Dead Man's Cove. This is it. You're sure this is a spot now? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, Tom. Drop her here, huh? Uh, as clear as glass. Yeah. It's good, huh? Put our gear on. Now let's get this straight. I want you to be in the lead. You recreate that dive movement by movement exactly as it was. You understand? I intend to, Lieutenant. I got nothing to hide. All right. Here. Use this slate. Write down everything exactly as it happened and where it happened. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Happy to cooperate. Oh, Lieutenant. Just one thing. I got to go slow. My sinuses. Give me a hand here with this, will you? What kind of a lung is this? Uh, it's a very special. I got it from the uh, Naval Electronics Lab. I've never seen anything like it before. Uh, it's an experimental model. It's still classified. And what are you doing with it? Well, yeah, let me borrow it whenever I uh, want to do a special dive like this. Special dive? Mm. Oh, Tom, I almost forgot my pill. Get it for me, will you? Pill? Ah, it absorbs the gases in the blood. It keeps you from getting the bends. The bends? Mm. How can you get the bends at 35 feet? Uh, Mike's going a little deeper than that. Deeper. Now, I want to take a look around at the uh, bottom of the ledge. The bottom? That's 500 feet. Yeah, that's why I got this special equipment. Well, that's not possible. World's record is only 420 feet. Yeah, well, that was yesterday's record. That's uh, just a sporting record, not a military one. The uh, Navy record is still a uh, military secret, you know. Well, I'm all set. How about you, fellas? Let's go, Tyler. Yeah. Pretty good job of acting. You almost convinced me. I almost convinced myself. Tyler had told us the story that he followed his wife down as deep as he could, to 70 feet. But the color of yellow in his last picture, a color which doesn't exist at 70 feet, showed that he was lying. We believe that Tyler's wife had never gone over the ledge of her own free will. We believe that Tyler had murdered her at the old wreck at 35 feet. 
then weighted her down and let her body sink to the 500-foot bottom, where it couldn't be recovered. color slides, it had looked like fun, but Tyler didn't seem to be enjoying it. Then he swam over to the ledge. Beneath us, down 500 feet, was the body of Maria Tyler. I had to convince him that I could recover her body. As I started down, Tyler looked after me desperately. We were closing in on him. A trapped animal can be very dangerous. Tom was a good swimmer and knew how to take care of himself. But he made a mistake by looking after me instead of keeping his eyes on Tyler. It only took Tyler a second to spot a jagged piece of glass and the silt beneath him. Its knife edges made it a dangerous weapon. I was down 110 feet. I couldn't be seen from the ledge. Now all I had to do was to wait a few minutes to make it look as if I had reached the bottom. I didn't know that above me, Tyler was acting out a charade of his own. He was pretending that his ears were hurting him and signaled Tom that he had to surface. But Tom ordered him to stay where he was. Tyler pushed off and started for the top. Tom was right after him. Tom didn't know about the piece of glass until Tyler slashed through his air hose. Then it was too late. Tom had to surface without Tyler. It was almost time for me to return to the ledge, but not knowing what happened above, I was in no hurry. and saw that both Tom and Tyler were gone. 
I swam for the surface as fast as I could. Tyler was a killer. He had killed once and would kill again to keep out of the gas chamber. He threw the motors into reverse and tried to run me down with the propellers. and cleared myself from those propellers, but then he would have gotten away. My one chance to stop that boat was to foul those propellers with my tanks. I slipped out of my scuba and swam up as Tyler steered for me. If my tanks missed the whirling propellers, I'd be ripped to shreds. The prop stopped. While Tyler was trying to figure out what had happened, I swam for the boat. Tyler was strong and cunning. He was fighting for his life. I preferred to fight him in the water. Without our scubas, the winner would be the man who could hold his breath the longest. of seawater and he became a model prisoner again. Yeah. There you go. I thought you'd had it when he ran that boat over you. So did I. The law had Tyler. He tried to kill Lieutenant Quinn. He tried to kill me to cover up the murder of his rich wife. We both knew now that a full confession would follow. Hi there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is certainly a lot of fun, and it's full of adventure. See some more of it again next week, huh? When there'll be another excursion into that fabulous underwater world of Sea Hunt. <laughs>